In front of you here, you have diamond clamps, tua tua, storm, and the last one, Venus clamps, okay? So I'm gonna give you a couple of tips. Clams, when they're relaxed, they gape. So the best thing to do is find one that's gaping, and you go straight in there. <laughs> Sneaky. And see how I'm already in? <laughs> yeah. And he's closed up on me? Basically, when you're shucking, what you're trying to do is keep the shucking knife on the bottom side of the shell. Get all the clam onto one side. You have this beautiful diamond clam here. How do we know how they taste? We eat them. <laughs> OK. What do you think when you eat that? It's beautiful. beautiful. Isn't that amazing? Mm. Yeah, lovely. Very subtle differences between all four. Amazing experience being able to taste them all back to back. Get your head in the game. Who's going? Who's going home? Five minutes to go, I start coating my clams to go to the deep fryer. Here we go, Leo. Are you going to put up three? Yes, sir. Fantastic. You're frying? Yep. As well? I'm fried. When they open, get them out. We don't want to overcook these beautiful, beautiful clams. Yes, sir. Bottom line, natural New Zealand ingredient, fantastic ingredient. Let them speak for themselves. Oh, right. Don't yeah. mess around with don't them Don't overcomplicate it. No. It's about three minutes to go, and I'm starting to plate and get everything all sorted. Two minutes to put up three beautiful Cloudy Bay clams with three different flavour profiles. James, you have got under two minutes. There is nothing on the plate here yet. I'm really starting to worry. I still haven't shucked my clams. Oh, are you having a cup of tea? Yeah. Well... You're all done? Yeah. Are you happy with what you put up? I've cooked a lot of tour tours in my life, so yeah. Come on, Gemma. 60 seconds. Oh, Here we go. Here we go. There's a minute to go and I'm shucking. How have I got myself in this position? Really, really nervous. So I just hope that I have done enough. It's just the first of two challenges to see who is going to New York and who is taking the bus home. The last touches, these last 10 seconds. Get it on there. That's my stuff is making things very really difficult for me. First there's a box and then there's a lid and then there's a blinking piece of foil that I have to rip off. Five, four, three, two, one. Step away from your bench. <laughs> well done, guys. Talk about quick fire. <laughs> really nerve-wracking. Yeah. But having a look around, these guys have done some amazing things in 15 minutes. Yeah, got there. It's on the plate. Bit haram. Quite confident with the, what I've put up. I've tasted all the dressings. There's good balance there. Probably the fastest 15 minutes of your life. Definitely was. That's so, right. So, dish number one? Chardonnay vinegar shallot. Dish number two? Soy, wasabi, ginger. And the final one? Caper. Um, and lemon butter. I might start on one of these. You've absolutely nailed it. The competitors behind you should be shaking in their boots. I loved every single one of them. Thanks, Thank Richard. You. Thank you. The extremes today are incredible. Someone's going home, so we're going to be dropped down to top five. Someone's going to New York. OK, what do we got? Diamond clam, raw with Chardonnay vinegar and grapefruit zest. Uh, the next row back, the clams are uh, steamed in a Thai green curry. OK. And then uh, the back row is a ceviche and grapefruit juice with coriander and chilli. Great. One quick question. Why did you serve the steamed clams on ice? Yeah, it's a good question. Um, <laughs> there's, there's no real drama with that, yeah. but if they're supposed to be hot and that's the idea, sure. you know, obviously the ice is controversial. Quite even across the three. The star of the show is the clams, but there's nothing really giving them a massive kick, but there's sure. really beautiful, subtle flavours there. Thank you. Take my dish up. I'm not all that proud of it. I know that patches of wasabi are going to be an issue. So, Gemma, what have you done? Okay, on the so this one's um, wasabi with um, rice wine vinegar and ginger. And then the diamond clam is with tzatziki. And then the tua tua is has been steamed in cream and white wine and garlic. That's me, <clears throat> right there. 
talk us through those last 30 seconds. I was really, really worried for you. Yeah, they were pretty manic. Well, I'm gonna try the one with the tzatziki. Gemma, I thought the tour tour with the cream garlic, yeah, real classic flavors. I would never have thought of putting a yogurt on top of a clam like this. It actually works. Mm. I found the wasabi on it, it's just so overpowering. I mean, I just got a massive big piece of wasabi and just sort of, sort of blew my face off. Glenda, how was that? Intimidating? Just really? 15 minutes with products you've never used before? Yeah, really intimidating. So what have you done today? Um, I've done a really simple Chardonnay vinaigrette with a wee bit of chive, apple and lemon vinaigrette on the uh, diamond. And I've steamed the tua tua. I had some apple juice, some black olives and some chorizo and I used that to flavour the steam. Do you think you've done enough? Probably not. I thought we'd been over this sort of lack of confidence no. in Glenda. I know. I'm going to New York, my name is Glenda. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to New York, my name is Glenda. Well, I'm going to give you close to 10 out of 10 for that first clam. Oh, wow. I think it was absolutely delicious. I'm sorry, Glenda, but I'm going to beat Al's score and give you 10.5, all right, because that, <laughs> that was delicious. Beautiful, subtle <laughs> apple. The chorizo was gorgeous. Leo, you happy with this dish? I'm happy with the dish. It's pretty much like cooking from the heart and going back from my roots. Talk us through the dish. Uh, Maybe of clam and um, coconut milk broth, a wilted spinach, green beans and, and herbs. Has the wizard waved his wand again? <laughs> the magician? I think, hopefully I did, because this is like, there's a big prize at the very end of this. You can leave us the taste, thanks so thank much. Thank you guys, thank thanks you. Leo. Thank you. Cheers, Leo. Looks great, doesn't it? Simple, clean. Really simple. A little bit of a stew. You can pour that over. Thank you. I like it. I like it, I think it's, it's, it's fresh. I think the seafood's cooked really beautiful. The broth is a massive big part of this. If you just turn the heat up a little bit more and more power in the mouth. It's still a good dish. Still a, it's still a good dish, but you know, we're down to the top six. They're all great dishes that are being put in front of us. We, we are really just splitting pick, hairs, splitting hairs yeah. or picking up straws to find faults in these dishes. You know, it is really a great problem to have. It's always nerve-wracking going into an elimination, especially now there's only six of us left. All it takes is one little mistake and you can be going home. It will suck to go home, but in saying that, whoever have had the best dish is just flying to New York. Can I just say congratulations? You've all come such a long way since your first step foot in this MasterChef kitchen. Deciding who leaves is literally a process of elimination because there's not really that much at all between who's best and who's not quite the best. Dishes at this stage have to wow you. Any little mistake can send you home. Glenda, step forward. My heart falls into my stomach hearing my name first. I know that that second dish, I didn't get those balanced flavors right. Your clams, three ways, looked gorgeous and tasted even better. Thank you. On the other hand, your clam, corn and chorizo chowder, that was just one of the best dishes I've tasted all season. Absolute fireworks. The big apple awaits you. You are going to New York. Congratulations, Glenda. Oh, God. <laughs> you have won our Cloudy Bay Clam Challenge. Thank you. You're off to New York for seven <laughs> nights, including <laughs> dinner at Nobu. OK. Awesome. And work experience with Matt oh. Lambert at the Musket Room. Oh. I can't believe it. I think I'm going into shock. Oh, my God, that's insane. It's good news. You OK? Yeah, I'm OK. Ooh, Guys, give her a hand. <laughs> My name is Glenda, and I am actually going to New York. <laughs> Great cooking today, guys. Exceptional dishes. Richard and Leo, please step forward. Richard, you started off with a bang today. Your clams, three ways, really hit the mark. 
and you backed it up with a solid second dish. One of the best chowders I've ever had. You so nearly made it to New York, Richard. <laughs> Congratulations, you're top five. I'm absolutely wrapped. I made it through. I was hoping to get first, but I mean, I couldn't ask for something better for Glenda. Leo, your clams three ways were really well thought out, and the taste, spectacular. Your second dish needed a touch more acid, salt, and chilli, and it would have been spot on. You're honing your craft, and we love watching that. Leo, you're safe. Top five, man. Top five. It's like, thank God for that. Well done, Hayley, Tim, and Gemma. I've been in the bottom. I'm used to being down here. Hayley, you started today by really putting your heart on the plate. And you really did nail those clams three ways. However, your second dish, it could have done with just a little bit more love. Okay. I have to tell you, it looked better than it actually tasted. But what I can also tell you, it was certainly good enough to get you through. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm feeling over the moon. Top five. Tim, Gemma. It's the first time I've been in the bottom. It's not a familiar feeling. This is it. I'm about to hear whether I sunk or I'm flying. Tim, you took a real step outside of the box today. We knew it would either be dynamite or it would miss the mark completely. Gemma. Your diamond clams were perfectly cooked, and the yogurt worked well with them. Your storm clam ravioli looked attractive, and it was brave attempting pasta in 45 minutes. But it did come out slightly doughy. Look, as we've said, the margins are so slim. Everything from here needs to be thought out exactly and executed perfectly. And I can tell you, Tim, your storm clam dish was incredible. Absolute dynamic. It was actually, a, without doubt, the dish of the day. If you had done better on the first challenge, you would have run a trip to New York. I take my hat off to you. You're safe. Thank you. Well done. I am so relieved, despite my elation. Gemma's standing there and your heart just goes out to her. I can only imagine what she must be feeling right now. Gemma, it hurts more and more every time we have to say goodbye to someone. It's been absolutely fantastic having you with us. And you have contributed so much. Sadly, as you know, you're just in such good company with these guys. Challenges will not be as energetic or the same without you, <laughs> yeah, okay? You have got so much energy, and I have no doubt that the ideas that you want to take on outside of this, you've got determination, tenacity to actually go out and carry those out. So you've just got to go out there and do it. Thanks. Good luck, and keep the food dream alive. But sadly, it's time now to leave the MasterChef kitchen. You guys have been amazing, fantastic. Your, your guidance and um, coaching has been invaluable and something I will cherish for a long time.